a short overview on the radionuclide sulfur-35. This is a solution of sulfur-35. This nuclide is a better only emitter, meaning there are no gamma lines associated with the decay of this nuclide. Additionally, the beta minus particles emitted are extremely low in energy. This is why the packaging does not include any lead shielding. Lead is generally unfavorable for beta emitters due to Bremsstrahlung or breaking radiation. I do not measure anything until I open the lid and only then do I realize that this solution is still radioactive enough. Even the low energy patterns have some range in the air that allows them to reach the detector. I've mentioned still radioactive for a reason. Sulfur 35 has a half-life of 90 days. Multiply that by 10 and it's 900 days, approximately 3 years. After this time the solution is considered decayed and can no longer be used for experiments. This makes the disposal much easier. Pack it up and wait. We have an allowance to do that. This is quite special as some nuclear chemistry labs do not have a allowance to store radioactive waste. They have to be disposed of. But in the case of sulfur 35 and phosphorus 32 we are allowed to store, eh, not really store them, but to wait out their decays in order to dispose them as non-radioactive material. Although I explained how to produce sulfur-35 through the radiation of sodium chloride, the quantities generated in this video are not sufficient for a stock solution suitable for practical use. Uh, you need a sulfur-35 sodium sulfate solution with an activity of 37 megabecquerel. <clears throat> and a quick check on the internet shows that the price is not directly dependent on the activity. It's not like double the activity equals double the price. There usually is a significant price jump when it comes to the activity which then requires a different type of shipment method. However, since sulfur-35 radiation doesn't even penetrate its own plastic container, any cardboard box is enough to fully shield even 26 millicury. Here are the decay data on this radionuclide. It's a better only emitter with a half-life of 87.5 days. It decays into stable chlorine-35. Beta particles have a low energy with a maximum of 167 kiloelectron volts and an average of just 49 kiloelectron volts. Due to the short half-life, it has a very high specific activity of 1.58 petabecquerels per gram. Experiment with this radionuclides will follow in the future. A special thanks goes to the working group of analytics and fundamental nuclear chemistry from Dr. Erik Stubb and the division of nuclear chemistry at the University of Cologne and to my Patreons. With that being said, goodbye.